If you are a fan of the long-running Bomberman series, then you'll be right at home in Bombing Busters. Everything from the bomb types to the iconic grid that you ran through during your childhood has returned, so you can jump right into this inspired title. While there are some issues with Bombing Busters, for the most part, it is a fun throwback to titles of yesteryear. <laughs> Bombing Busters features two modes. The meat of the game comes in the form of the campaign mode, which tasks players with clearing out aliens in 30 mazes. While this may look like a vibrant and colourful game designed for everyone, it is really not, because it is excruciatingly difficult. One hit takes you back to the beginning of the level, so you basically need to have a perfect furry of bomb placing in order to succeed. Thankfully though, low times are bearable, so the game always has that one more go mentality, which results in bomb busters feeling pretty addictive. Additionally, the bite-sized levels makes the title perfect for gaming on the go. Unfortunately though, the campaign is extremely repetitive with only one mission type and boss battles. Every standard level is the same scenario where you start in the top left corner of the screen, find the additional bomb and fire up power-ups, and then find a remote destination to bomb and proceed to waste all the enemies on the screen. Sure, each new world brings new features such as portals and black holes in addition to new enemies, but that is not enough to stop the game from feeling repetitive. The boss battles, however, do feel refreshing due to the variety of attacks from each boss, which challenges players to figure out patterns in order to defeat them. All the battles are extremely frustrating, but they do feel very rewarding once you complete them. The general gameplay of Bombing Busters also has some issues. While movement is fine, placing bombs can be awkward as the robot you play as puts the bombs directly where he is currently standing, which makes trapping enemies extremely dangerous as one hit from them will destroy you. Another issue is the general lack of power-ups and bombs. While kicking bombs, throwing bombs and walking through bombs are all in the game, there are only three different bomb types which limits the amount of options to blow up enemies drastically, so the game just comes down to trying to find a detonated bomb and then just wrecking everybody. The other mode available is the multiplayer mode, which allows up to 8 players to duke it out but unfortunately, you have to have a PS4 to host a match, which is a huge disappointment. Granted, the game is cross by which is a welcomed addition, but the ability to play with friends on the go through ad hoc would have been awesome. The overall presentation is a mixed bag. The variety in locales is great, but unfortunately some of the maps, like the ice level for instance, looks pixelated and blurry. However, other maps, such as the grass level, look great. The character designs also look good, as they are very unique and creative but they are too big and many of them take up more space than an individual square on the grid which means they stick out of cover when hiding but still do not take any damage which is really infuriating. Additionally, small things like black holes not sucking up the robot and instead him just lying on top of it just looks silly. The music however is excellent and feels just right for this type of game. The modern remixes of classical tracks are pretty great but with that being said it would have been nice to be able to play custom music. Overall, Bombing Busters is a decent Bomberman style title which is fun in short bursts. While there are issues all across the board holding the title down from greatness, the general concept in addition to the wealth of content makes the game worth the very modest asking price. Hopefully a sequel in the future will correct these issues and deliver a truly great title, but for now, Bombing Busters is a solid addition to the genre and gets a C grade. For more Visa reviews, remote play reviews, PS4 reviews and everything else gaming, make sure to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.